Good morning, it's Lisa here from Rocco Baby Crochet. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a pom-pom maker. So yesterday I showed you how to make the chocolate orange covers and I promised you that I'd put you a video on how and which pom-pom maker I've got. This pom-pom maker that I've got, I found, I'm from the UK, obviously from my accent, I found it at a local shop called Home and Bargains. So this set of three pom-pom makers cost me less than two pounds. It comes in three sizes. So this pink pom-pom maker here, that one will create you a pom-pom which is approximately nine centimeters in diameter. It's a really nice chunky pom-pom. This is a medium sized pom-pom maker and that creates a pom-pom of roughly five and a half centimeters in diameter. And this little yellow one here, which is what I'm going to be using today, creates a pom-pom of around three and a half centimetres in diameter. Now, I did have a, a quick look on Amazon for you to see how much they were on there. Roughly, a kit of something similar to this um, is running at around £10. So if you are a UK viewer, then head down to Home and Bargains because I think they've that's a real bargain. I've had this now this little kit for around two years and it's i love it i just absolutely love it it makes perfect pom-poms every time it's really durable never had any problems with it i know that there's more expensive pom-pom makers out there but this one this one works fine for me so let's get started so i'm going to make another little small pom-pom so i'm just going to move the large and the medium one out of the way I've got my yarn. Today I'm using this, the same double knit yarn that I used yesterday. It's the white sparkly one just to pop on the top of my Santa hats. So when you look at your pom-pom maker, the first thing that you'll notice is one side has these little bobbles on it and one side has these little holes on it. So when we come to lining them up, what we do is we line up the bobbles with the holes on the other one. So that's what we do. It's got a hinge here on the other side which allows you to open your pom-pom and it's also got a little clasp here which allows you to secure your pom-pom maker once you've got your wool inside and you're just ready to, to um, cut the yarn to shape your pom-pom. So we line up the bumps with with the holes so they're opposite so you'll find that your hinge is meeting here in the middle and both of them open up bumps on this one connected to sitting on top of the holes on this one so your first couple of times around this pom-pom maker with the yarn can be a little bit fing fingers and thumbs at the beginning because there's there's nothing that you can't secure them together obviously because you need them to pull, pull apart at the end so what I do is I start here at one end and I just hold that piece of yarn with my thumb and I just go around it a couple of times until it's secure and then it's so much easier because you can move it away. Your yarn's on there now so it's nice and secure. So I hold it here. And I just build up, wrapping around the yarn, going pretty evenly around the semicircle. You can scooch them up like that. Just keep wrapping all in the same direction. keep going now, it doesn't take long to make one of these pom-poms before I got this pom-pom maker I was still using a way that my gran had taught me to do and it was by cutting out two circles uh, from cardboard <laughs> and then I started making a lot of baby projects and I just wanted them to be a little bit more uniform and I just was having a look around the shop because they do sell wool in that shop as well quite reasonable if you're starting out I think it's around one pound for a ball of double knit yarn which is good and it, it's quite nice it's okay for when you're starting to learn so what you want to do is keep wrapping the yarn <clears throat> until 
it's completely full now you can you see how this one's got the semicircle you want to make sure that semicircle is full of yarn because when you pull them together that's what keeps my that's what keeps the project nice and tight I've got a little bit of Okay, so I'm just going to go across it. I'll show you now. I don't. Some people will now snip the wool and move over to the other. I don't. Just for a little, I just find it quicker because I make these in bulk sometimes. I just go straight across to my other side and start yarning around. So evenly going up and down that pom pom maker. You know what my favourite part of making the pom-poms is? Giving them a little haircut at the end. <laughs> so can you see that little semicircle is starting to get filled? And you just keep going until there's enough in there. You don't you want to put in as much as you can. Don't go over tight with it. Because you've got to but just make sure there's enough just have to play around with it what what you like i won't like um everybody's a little bit different aren't they but i do like um quite a full pom-pom just going to do another couple there okay and i think that we're pretty much done there so pull your yarn down so when you bring the two halves together now, you can see there's no hole there in the middle. I'm just going to put another couple of rounds in there. I don't think I've quite got enough. So you want to try and be as even as you can with this. And then your pom pom is nice and even when, when it comes out, you're going to have less shaping and trimming to do. Obviously, if you want an in-between size to so what's in this, this hook, go for the bigger one and trim it down to the size that you want. Okay, so that's more than enough now. So what we do is pop that together. Can you see? There's no hole there. So we've got a nice full pom-pom. Pretty even. So flick up your switches for your little clasps, pull them together and slide them over both of them and that secures your work. Same on this one, pull up your clasp. Pop it up, make sure it's firmly together and then pop your clasps down and that is going nowhere. So what you need is a nice sharp pair of scissors to get through this wool. I like these pointy craft scissors. These are really sharp. I picked them up from a local craft shop. So when you look there, you can see you've got a little gap where the two different ones, uh, where the two different sides to the pom pom maker met. You want to go down the middle of that and snip away at your yarn. Try and keep your scissors just in the middle of the pom pom maker to keep your pom pom nice and even. And you're going to have to do less shaping then at the end. So these are actually really sharp scissors, but I've done this one quite tightly. So, so that's your first half of your pom-pom. Second half of your pom-pom, you just do exactly the same. Let me just move that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going into in between the two pom pom makers with my pointy ends, my scissors, and just cutting through all those pieces of yarn. Nearly there. Okay, so now I don't shape it or anything like that until I pulled it all together. So there is basically your pom pom. They're so cute. So what you need to do now is take your yarn. And you pop it in between the two line, the two separate pom pom makers. So just through there, pop it over the bubbles. Always leave yourself enough of an end 
to sew these into projects you pull it through and then pull it through at the other side so pop it over those bumps that's it so what I do is I give it a twist and just to secure it I pop it I pull it again round the opposite way so again just through the two sides right through the middle of the gap that you'll be able to see and then from there I tie a double knot and let that go straight down to your pom pom maker one two and that's secure enough <clears throat> so to want to get your pom pom out lift up your little tabs here that are securing it and remember it's a hinge so you just open it up just as you closed it and that one there at the bottom oh I forgot because I moved over my two I didn't split my arm and just pop your pom pom out A little tangle there and there you have a pom-pom so like I said to you before my, my absolute favorite bit is trimming the ends <laughs> I feel like I just give it a little little haircut so I just trim around can you see you've got a couple of, of stray pieces of wool so I just make it nice and even And like I say, if you if you want a pom pom and the size isn't in this um, kit, just make a bigger one. Use the larger template and cut it down to the size that you want. And there we have our pom pom. So there you go. Love the pom pom. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, I hope you make some lovely things for Christmas. Stay safe and I'll see you really soon with another tutorial. Bye!